Mr. Speaker, may I start first and foremost by expressing uh, apologies and regrets that the Deputy President is not here, and by not being here, the inconvenience and delay caused to Mr. Speaker and to honorable senators. The position, Muhajimwa Speaker, is that during that period that I went uh, to try to find out why he wasn't here, because as Muhajimwa Speaker knows, the Deputy President has been coming here absolutely punctually every day. The sad reality is that the Deputy President, the Republic of Kenya, has been taken sick, very sick, and as I address Mr. Speaker in this honorable House, Senators, he is in hospital, which must Speaker. That is a sad reality. Order, honorable senators. Order, honorable senators. Senator Kajuang. Now, counsel for the National Assembly. You have had senior counsel Paul Mwite for and on behalf of the deputy president. Considering that this is a time-bound process, what is your reaction? Mr. Speaker, sir, this is a house governed by the rule of law. We truly empathize with the difficulty that His Excellency, the Deputy President, has found himself in. But Mr. Speaker, sir, pursuant to Rule 11 of the rules governing this process, if I may, with uh, your permission, uh, maybe, read. Uh, uh, Council for the National Assembly. Yes, Mr. Speaker. J sir. Just take a seat before you make your rejoinder. Senior Council Paul Mutia, having said whatever you've said, what is your proposed way forward so that a reaction can be put from the National Assembly? Are you telling us we wait until your client gets here? What is your proposed way forward? Mr. Speaker, I have just received this information. My proposal is that you give me at least the rest of the day I would like to go and have an assessment of his situation and maybe uh, even come back here uh, by 5 p.m. Right now, I would like to make an informed sort of situation after I see the Deputy President and I see the doctor, Mr. Speaker, at least an hour or two. Yes, thank you. Very well. Uh Council for the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, sir, having very keenly listened to my learned uh, senior uh, colleague, uh, Paul Muita, senior counsel, it puts us in a bit of a difficulty because whereas we may want to empathize with the situation, there appears to be no indication from their end as to a specific proposal. Mr. Speaker, sir, this being a house governed by rules, and this process being a time-bound process, I will draw your attention to Rule 11 of the rules of this, uh, uh, this, this House. If I may read, Mr. Speaker, sir, that where the National Assembly or the President chooses not to appear before the Senate, that fact shall be put on record and the Senate shall proceed 
with its investigation without further reference to the National Assembly or the President, but the Senate may, for exceptional reasons to be recorded, permit a later appearance before the Senate by the National Assembly or the President. Mr. Speaker, sir, I think this rule would give us guidance We may proceed if it becomes necessary, then any additional material may then be availed. This is a time-bound constitutional process, Mr. Speaker, sir. I'm most obliged. Let me pick the wisdom of my wonderful senators before I make my decision on the way forward. Now, I understand that all of you are wise men and women. Speaker, can I just say a word? Yes. Uh, I've heard what in a council uh, Paul Mwite has said, and uh, Mr. Speaker, you have made it quite clear that these proceedings are time bound. It's not so much about the situation in which the his Excellency the Vice President finds himself, is about the Senate, Senate complying with the provisions of the Constitution. That within that time frame, you, you must make a decision. Reading the standing orders that my learned friend, uh, Mr. Rick Gumbo, has referred to, it would be useful to this House if Senior Counsel Paul Mwite could probably give us a way forward in times, yeah, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the time limitation that the Senate has. Uh, I'm saying this because we don't want somebody to say that uh, the Deputy President was not given an opportunity to be heard. I think the Senate would want him to be heard. But knowing the time limitation, what suggestions does the senior council uh, have uh, to ensure that we keep within the time parameters. At the same time, the deputy president is given his uh, space to defend himself. So uh, we have two sides. We have the minority side and the majority side. I will only I will only allow the two leaders to speak. You, if you need to consult in the next one minute. Now, honorable senators, our standing orders have not been suspended yet. It is only Senator Mazayo and the majority leader. Who would... The rest, take your seat. The rest, please take your seats. 